Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a crochet tutorial, tutorial for you for a beautiful, beautiful, lightweight, lacy wrap. Um, I don't have a very good th thumbnail picture of it. I really don't know how to uh, wear things like this. So, <laughs> but it is absolutely stunning. Here, let me pull it. It's folded over here. It is quite large. Of course, you can make it any size that you'd like. So it's it's not hard to do at all. It's actually very easy. So you can kind of see what it looks like. It's made with a gradient cake here. Goes down here like that. Um, so yes, yeah, very, very uh, big, uh, large. You can wear it like, you know, springtime summertime cuts this, this well this one is you know such made with such a lightweight yarn um cotton yarn um and it's so lacy so you could dress up an outfit or you know just wear it casually as a, some type of wrap big big scarf whatever you want to do with it um so i'll be showing you how to cro how to crochet this like i said it's not hard at all so the size of this one is 84 inches long yeah it's pretty long you don't have to make it that long you can I'll, I'll give you the multiple of the stitch so you can adjust it to your likings um and it's about 40 inches wide and of course you can make it as wide as you'd like as well but look how drapey that is and just absolutely stunning i mean the pictures the video it just does not do it justice it's absolutely so pretty so gorgeous yeah, i might just keep this one i don't know how to wear it but i guess i can learn i guess i can learn okay so for that particular uh, piece right there that you've seen this is uh made from a company off of um etsy um she has a website too arena's thread and crafts um she makes these uh gradient cakes so of course this one is not the same color that i have here but what it is it's an eight ply cotton yarn so um now it says that they are fingering a weight but actually it's more of like a two weight um it is a four the what i use is a 1400 yard cake and that is the whole t cake in its entirety there that's what size it made um and you can see that the strands are not spun on this so there's eight plies that I think there's eight plies that are unspun, but and they equal about a two weight. Now you don't have to use this yarn. Remember, you could use uh, for this. You can use any weight of yarn that you like. You know, um, you can use a one weight. You can use a two weight. You can use a three weight, four weight. Doesn't matter. But remember, the thicker the yarn you get, the less uh, lightweight and drapier it'll be. Um, the color though that you see here is called gradient bend that's the color name on this one all right oh and this one's called stained glass in case you're interested got some um coming up with this one as well all right so and then we're gonna be using a size for the size two weight there h which is a five millimeter crochet hook all right all right, so I'm going to be showing you with a three-weight solid color yarn um, that that's spun together. That way it's easier to see in the tutorial. Um, if you're using a different weight yarn, um, I would probably, what I usually do with shawls and stuff, if you want them to have a good drape, you should use a, a hook size full, full hook size bigger than what it recommends on, on the yarn uh, most of the time. So, you know, if you, if you want to do that. Um, so, this uh, stitch is done in a multiple of 6 plus 2, which means that you chain, depending on what you're making, in 6s. So, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, so you get it as big as you want it to be, and then you add 2 more to your base chain. So, remember um, me using that 2 weight yarn, um, to make it the size I did, it's, it's about 84 inches long. Um, we want to start with a chain of 260 stitches. 
260. All right. So that is a multiple of 6 plus 2. And we'll go ahead and we'll start row 1. So row 1, we are going to do a single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So we never count the one that's on our hook. So 1, 2, and in that second chain there, we are going to single crochet. And then we are going to work across. And we're going to put one single crochet in every single stitch until we get to the end of our row. So row one is just one single in every stitch. And I'll meet back up with you when we make it to the end of the row. All right, once you make it to the end of row one, you're following along with me, you'll have 259 stitches. If you chained a, chained a different amount, you will have one less stitch than what you chained. All right, so let's go ahead and start row two. Row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. So that chain one does not count as a stitch, okay? So we're gonna go right back into this very first stitch and we're going to put a single crochet into that very first stitch. And then we are going to chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch. And now we're going to start the repeat of row two. So we chained one and we skipped one and now we will start the repeat. We're gonna single crochet into the next. Like that. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip one and single crochet into the next. And then we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to skip three. One, two, three. And then we would start our repeat over by starting again, single crocheting into the next. Chain three, one, two, three. And we would only skip one and single crochet into the next. And then we would chain three, one, two, three skip three, one, two, three, start our repeat over again by single crocheting into the next and repeating it again, chain three, one, two, three, and skipping one and single crocheting into the next, chaining three, one, two, three, and skipping three, skip, 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 and starting our repeat again by single crocheting into the next. And we would repeat this pattern um, until we get near the end of the row. So again, we started our repeat, we single crocheted, and we just chain three, one, two, three, we only skip one and then we single crochet into the next and we chain three again. One, two, three, and then we skip three. Skip, skip, skip. And we start our repeat again by single crocheting into the next. Just like that. You want to repeat that and uh, to keep repeating that until you get to the last two stitches of your row. All right, so I've made it to the last two stitches. So you can see that I did a, there was a single crochet here. I chained three. I only skipped one and I single crocheted in the next. And that leaves me with two stitches left. So we want to make the end match the beginning. So we're just going to chain one, skip one, and single crochet into our very last stitch. And that'll end row one. 
I'm sorry, row two, row two. We're on row two. All right, now we're starting at row three. So row three, we are going to chain one again. We're gonna turn our work, that chain one again. Does not count as a stitch, so we're gonna put a single crochet right here into the very first stitch. Just like that. And then we're going to skip this very first chain space right here. We're going to be working in the chain spaces, okay? But we're going to skip this first one. And we're going to work a shell into the next chain three space. So right here. So a shell for this particular uh, stitch is, so remember we're skipping this and we're working into the next chain three space. And the shell is, we're gonna work into the chain three space. So just right into the space. One double crochet, a chain of one, another double crochet, a chain of one, another double crochet, a chain of one, and another double crochet. So that will be the shell for this particular pattern. As you can see, it's four double crochets with a chain one in between each of them. All right. And now what we're gonna do is a spike stitch. And what we do here is we're gonna be working it um, over the top of this uh, chain space right here from the previous row. We're going to a single crochet um, in the middle stitch of the three, two rows below. So where this chain space is, we're gonna go down to the next row and you would see that we skipped three here. In the middle one, we're just going to single crochet. You can call it a spike or you can call it a drop single, doesn't really matter, but either way, we're gonna go into that stitch, make sure your chain is in inside of it as well, and we're just going to single crochet like that. And this is what we're gonna keep repeating. So again, in the next chain three space right here, you can see in this chain three space, there's only one single crochet below it. So you know that we have to do a shell here. And remember the shell is four double crochets with a chain one in between each. So there is double crochet, chain one. This is second double crochet, chain one. So our third double crochet, chain one. And then our fourth double crochet. And that makes the shell. Now next up, we have to do the single crochet spike or the drop stitch. So if you look now here in this chain space, there is three single crochets there. And in that middle one, we're going to, you know, two rows down. In that middle one, we're gonna single crochet into it. So we're just gonna go right into that middle one, get that chain inside of it, and single crochet. Just like that. And we're gonna do this again. We're gonna keep doing keep doing this till we get near the end. All right, right here, our next chain three space is going to get the shell. So we are going to work our four doubles with a chain one in between each one. So there's one, chain one. There's our second double, chain two. Our chain one again, I'm sorry. There's our third double, chain one, and our fourth double. We do not chain one after that. So there's the shell. Four doubles with chain one in between. And then we come over here to our next chain space and you can see it's the one where we skip three here. Um, two rows below in that middle one, we're gonna single crochet. So let's go right down into that. 
and a single crochet drop single or spike whatever you want to call it but that's just what we're going to do the whole way down again the next one we're going to do our shell double crochet chain one double crochet again chain one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet would be four double crochets with chain ones in between them come over here to our next space and you can see this is where there were three double three uh, singles that we skipped in that middle one we're going to do our drop single or our spike down into it single crochet right down into it get that make sure you're getting that chain space in there and just single crochet now we're going to keep repeating this pattern until we get to the last chain stitch of our row all right so when you make it to the end of row three you should have just completed a shell here and we'll be at the end where there's this last chain one space here we're going to make this side match the beginning so we're just going to skip this chain space here and we're going to put a single crochet into the last stitch and that will end row three Now we're going to start row four. So row four starts the repeat rows for the whole pattern. It's rows four, five, six, and seven. It's a four row repeat, but remember it's not hard. Once you get the hang of it, it is a relatively simple. It's just using basic stitches. So we'll go ahead and start row four. We are going to chain one and turn our work. And again, that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to double crochet back into the very first stitch double crochet like that and then we're going to chain one now we're going to start the repeat of row four so we double crocheted we chained one and now we're going to start the re repeat we're going to put a single crochet into the next chain one space so this shell right here this chain one space here we're going to work a single crochet into it like that and then we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to skip the next chain one space and we will single crochet into the next chain one space which is the last chain one space of the shell just like that and then we will chain three one two three and that will end the repeat for row four how easy is that let's just repeat what we did so we got our shell here from the previous row we're going to single crochet into that first chain one space like that and we're going to chain three one two three skip the next chain one space of the of the shell and in the last chain one space of the shell we're going to single crochet then we're going to chain three one two three and repeat jump over here to the next shell you see there's three chain one spaces in the first one we single crochet chain three skip the next one and in the last chain one space of the shell we single crochet chain three and we repeat it again jump over here to the next shell you see the three chain one spaces the first one single crochet right into it chain three and then we skip the next one and the last chain one space of the shell we single crochet into it and then we chain three and we're going to repeat this pattern until we get to the end of row four so as you can see it's very easy so i will meet back up with you when we get to um near the end of the in, near the end of row four all right when you come to the end of row four you just did a single crochet into the 
the last chain one space of your shell here the last shell we're going to make this side match the beginning so we're just going to chain one after that and we're going to double crochet into the last stitch and that will end row four all right go ahead and we will start row five We are going to chain one and turn our work. That chain one does not count as a stitch. <clears throat> so in the very first stitch, we're going to go back into the very first stitch and we're going to work two double crochets. So there's one and there's two right in a row. And we're going to chain one and then we're going to work one more a double crochet right back into that very first stitch so that first stitch got two doubles a chain one and a double all into the same stitch and now we're going to start the repeat of row five and we're going to do our drop or our spike stitch whatever you would like to call it um uh, drop single crochet or spike single crochet in the um, center chain one space of the sh of the shell that is actually two rows below so not this chain space but this right here the space that we skipped what we're going to do is sing just go down and drop single or spike single just go right through that that we skipped and single crochet into it just like that and then into the next chain three space right here which is kind of where we chain three and we kind of skipped over all this we're gonna work shell so we're just gonna go right into this space and we're going to work a double crochet chain one another double and a chain one and another double chain one and one more double so the shell remember is four doubles with chain ones in between them and just like that and then we're going to repeat so right here where this chain space says we're going to do our drop single or our spike single right here in that middle chain space from the shell which is one two rows below so we just go right through it make sure you get that chain space in it and single crochet like that and then in in this next chain three space here we work our shell so it's four double crochets with the chain one in between so there's one double chain one two doubles chain one That's our third double, chain one, and our fourth double. So that completes the shell. And then we need to do our drop single or our spike single down. So here is the chain space, chain three space. And then below that is the shell from the previous row. This is the chain space that we did not work in. So we're just going to go right into that and single crochet drop single, spike single, whatever you want to call it, but that's what we do. And this is what we're going to repeat so we get near the end of the row. Again, we're going to shell into the next chain space. Double, chain one. Double, chain one. Double, chain one and double so that was four doubles with the chain ones in between them to form our shell come right over here and you see that this is our the next chain three space right below it is the shell from two rows below so this is the previous row and this would be the second row below here's that middle chain space that we did not work in and we're going to do our drop single or spike single whatever you want to call it Go right into that space, get that chain one in or that chain three in there, 
and single crochet just like that so this is what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of row five all right i'm coming to the end of row five and we're going to end it the same way we started it so i just did my drop single or my spike stitch whatever you want to call it right here so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing that that we did over here so in t in the very last stitch of the row we're going to work one double crochet a chain of one and we're going to go into the same space and work two double crochets so it's one and that's two so now they start and they finish the rows the same way all right let's go ahead and start row row six chain one turn our work chain one does not count as a stitch we are going to single crochet into the very first stitch chain one and now we will start the repeat of row six so we chain one and the repeat starts with one single crochet into the next chain space so right here this little space right here we're going to single crochet into that like that and we're going to chain three and we are going to put a single crochet into the next chain one space of the next of the of the shell here so this chain one space here like that and then we're going to chain three skip this space single crochet right there so this row is very familiar isn't it chain three come on over here to the next shell and in the first chain space we single crochet chain three skip the middle one and single crochet into the last chain space of that shell so it's pretty similar to the row we did two rows ago chain three jump over here to the next shell single crochet into that first chain space of the shell chain three skip the next chain space single crochet into the last chain space of that shell chain three jump over here to the next shell and repeat so we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of row six and i'll show you how we're going to end it the same way we started it skip in the middle single crochet in into the last of that sh last chain space of that shell chain in three and repeating All right, so I'm coming to the end of row six. So I single crocheted, this is the last shell here of the row, and I single crocheted into that last chain one space, and I chain three. And now I need to single crochet into this chain one space before these last two doubles, like that. And then I'm going to chain one, just like we did on the other side, and we are going to single crochet into the very last stitch so we don't do anything here we skip this one single crochet into the very last so again it ends the same way that it begins all right let's go ahead and start row seven which is the final repeat row of this particular uh pattern so we're going to chain one and turn our work 
and we're going to put a single crochet into the very first stitch right here and now we're going to start the repeat of row seven so we're going to jump to the next chain three space right here and we are going to work a shell into it so this is actually very similar to the row we did a couple rows ago so we're going to work a shell into it so actually it is a repeat a four row repeat but two of them are very similar they just end and begin in different ways so there's our shell and then right here we will do our drop single or our, or our spike single whatever you'd like to call it right here into the two rows below into the shell that chain one space that we did not work into before go right into it and single crochet make sure you get that chain in there just like that and this is what we're going to repeat we're going to shell in the next chain three space double chain one double chain one double chain one and one more double makes our shell and here we are next we need to do our drop single or our spike single whichever you'd like to call it into the chain one space that we did not work into of the shell two rows below so go right into it and single crochet and we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern until we get to the in, near the end of row seven And it might look a little difficult, but trust me, it is not difficult at all. It is basic stitches. And once you get the repeat down and see that the row, the two rows are very sim, there's four rows, but uh, two of them, they're very similar. They just happen to start and stop in uh, different ways. And again, right here, two rows below in the shell, that middle chain one space that we didn't work into single crochet into that like that and we're going to repeat this and i'll meet back up with you um at our last chain three space all right so i've made it to the end of the row so here's my last chain three space i went ahead and put a shell in it and i'm just going to end the same way that i began I'm just going to put a single crochet into the last stitch and that will end row seven and that will end all the repeat rows so as you can see they are a little catty cornered but the rows are extremely similar like i said so you just keep repeating rows four five six and seven until you get to your desired width um like i said uh following along with me I went to uh, it was about 40 inches but you can do it however however big you want it to be I will put timestamps um, on the screen um, so for rows four five six and seven that way you can just click and go back and uh, once you get the repeat down it'll be very very easy and you'll be able to blow right through this um, you want to end on a row seven there that way it gives you that nice curved edge at the bottom. So yeah, four, five, six, and seven until you get to your desired length. And after a while, depending, well, you'll have something beautiful no matter what yarn that you choose. But if you're using a lightweight yarn, you'll have a beautiful a lightweight uh, wrap or shawl or soup scarf or whatever you would like to use it as. Oh, this would be a beautiful, um, if you had more yarn, in this weight, a beautiful lightweight blanket, like a uh, lacy one, you know, de just decorative, you know. That would be beautiful as well. Of course, I would need, I'd need another cake for that, but just throwing out some ideas. So, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out all my other tutorials. I do have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Anything that you could ever want to make, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on my next video. All right. Stay safe, guys. Bye.